Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for June the 8th of 2021. Well, it is titled a face in the clouds of Jupiter from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, we see an image taken uh, back in 2017 by the Juno spacecraft. Now the Juno spacecraft is in orbit around Jupiter in a very elliptical orbit and looks and zips around in what we call a polar orbit, meaning that it goes up and around the poles. Now that's different than most satellites that go over the equatorial regions of a planet. So it gives us a different view and gives us a better way to be able to study the polar regions and other parts of the planet as well. It's also in a very elliptical orbit so it can sweep in very close to Jupiter and study it up close but then spends most of its time further away well out of the radiation belts of Jupiter to hopefully extend the life of the spacecraft. Now, of course, one of the things noted here is the appearance of a face on Jupiter. Now, it's not truly a face or it is simply a random combination of material. But our minds like to put some kind of sense to random patterns. And that causes us to see a face here in the central dark region of Jupiter with two of the white storms uh, matching out the eyes and then an elongated red storm for the mouth. So we can see an example of a face, he a face here uh, that we see in Jupiter. And we do the same kind of thing we make patterns in the constellations or see other patterns on the surface of planets because we don't like random things so we start to put some sort of pattern to them our minds will do that automatically so here we get to see that as from Jupiter and it gets to study very closely close up this planet now, while it's orbiting Jupiter, it also studies some of its moons. And in fact, just yesterday made a very close pass to Ganymede, which is the largest moon in the solar system. So larger than our own moon and in fact, as large as Mercury, uh, one of the, uh, the smallest of the planets in the solar system. So it's studying all parts of the Jupiter system and helping us and building on previous studies from the Galileo spacecraft and the Voyager spacecraft and the Pioneer spacecraft that have all studied Jupiter in the past. So we continue to bring up, to study these in much more detail and learn more about Jupiter. And that's because we see and learn a lot more when we are up close to the planet. We can see it in far more detail and can come back to study parts of it again afterwards. So earlier missions such as the Voyager craft were flybys and flew by and gave us one view of this of the planet. Now we get to see all sorts of views and study it over and over again, and really be able to get much more information when we can study something for years at a time, instead of just for a couple of days as we pass the closest to the planet. So that was our picture of the day for June the 8th of 2021. It was titled A Face in the Clouds of Jupiter from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.